hello there and welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to look at how to fix this app has been blocked for your protection on your windows 10 or 11 pc so when i try to launch this software for instance i get this feedback which says this app has been blocked for your protection and well i've tried so many methods in trying to get this software to run including disabling my um, window security but none of the none of the work okay i disabled smart screen and all that none of it worked then i found a solution so today i'm going to show you the solution that worked for me i'm sure it's going to work for you too and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you find this video helpful all right so by default windows hat comes with its own built-in security software known as the windows defender and you know, a major sub feature of this um, built in security software is the Windows um, Defender Smart Screen. Okay. And this, what this Defender Smart Screen does is that it shields your system from programs coming from, you know, shady sources. And precisely, it detects apps built by unknown or unauthorized, you know, developers and then blocks them from running your PC. And when it happens, this causes a user account control warning that says this app has been blocked for your protection today we are looking at how to fix this so let's go so um, the ultimate method that actually worked for me was disabling the whole user account control policy so let's look at how to fix that so first of all you press your windows key plus r to bring up the run command and then you type group we are going to the group policy edit um, so we type group policy gp edit dot msc then you hit enter okay so let me close this for now so we hit enter and then it brings up the group, group policy uh, the local group policy editor okay so let me open this a little bit more so we can see properly what we're working with so first of all you go to windows settings and then you navigate all the way down to um, see security settings and then all the way down to local policies and then you click on security options okay now when you click on security options let me open this so you scroll all the way down until you see user account control run all administrators in admin approval mode so by default it's enabled and this is what is making um, the smart screen and everything to work out for you so you double click on it and then you disable it and then you apply when you apply it you're going to get this security and maintenance notification which says you must restart your computer to turn off user account control so until you turn off the computer when you launch the software you are still going to get that feedback that says this app has been blocked for your protection so we are going to restart our computer so let's close that and then restart our computer so restart and boom all right so i just restarted my computer now let's try to see if we can uh, install the software so i double click on it and boom ready to install so you can see this is the easiest uh, method you can actually use to fix this problem so but then when you are done it's very important that you turn it back on okay so um, the gp edits.msc it's already there for me so make sure you type that in you hit ok then you follow the same process and then you and uh, enable it back it's very important it's for your own security so it must be on at all times you only turn it off when you are having um, problems installing a software because of the same issue so it's very important so as, uh, just as we did in the past window settings we go to security settings local policies then you click on security options then you scroll all the way down until you locate run all administrators in admin approval mode so you can see it's currently um, disabled so we want to enable it back so as usual when you enable it you must restart your computer again in order to have it actually on 
until you restart it the system is not protecting you that is why I, I am still able to run this software without any issues at all and just um, so you know I had all my settings on everything is on in my windows I didn't have to disable any virus settings or anything so when I go to my settings you can see everything is on when I go to app and browser control as some some people will suggest everything is on but I can still install my software so this is the best solution it worked for me I hope it works for you if you found this video useful please subscribe to my youtube channel and leave a comment in the comment section I'll really appreciate that thank you very much for watching